Hi, this is Hillary Topper from Tech News Now, and I had the opportunity to interview Matt Landers of Stone Crisis yesterday at the Wearable Tech Expo in New York City at the Javits Center. Here's what he had to say. So my name is Matt Landers. I'm the CEO of Stone Crisis, S-T-O-N-E-C-R-Y-S-U-S. So Stone Crisis is an intelligent health and fitness smartphone app and wearable activity tracker. So you tell Stone Crisis what your health goal is, whether it be gain five pounds of muscle, lose 10 pounds of fat, really anything on the health improvement spectrum. And Stone Crisis learns how foods, activities, sleep, and metabolism affect your unique physiology. Based upon your goal and based upon what it learns about you, uh, Stone Crisis recommends what to eat, how much to eat, when to eat, types of food to eat, uh, how much activity you do, types of activity you do, and how much to sleep. Um, so because we're making these recommendations to users, it's really important that our data is both reliable and accurate. And that's kind of an issue I feel is plaguing the, the wearable industry and, and the health tracking industry. Uh, if you go for a run today and tomorrow, same run, it's likely that a lot of the activity trackers out there would produce varying amounts of activity credit, mm -hmm. or uh, varying amounts of activity. So what we've done is our wearable not only tracks how much activity you're doing, but it segments between resistance activities, so weightlifting and yoga and, and uh, Pilates, uh, cycling, uh, cardio activities, any, anything from jogging, jogging to the elliptical, um, and just routine walking around type of activity. So um, because we're, we're producing these recommendations, of course, that data is extremely reliable. It needs to be extremely reliable, so we do that not only with the activity, but with our uh, food input as well. So instead of relying on portion sizes or calorie counts, which can be an extremely unreliable piece of data, so if you looked at two bags of peanuts, for example, same food, same size, just different manufacturers, the nutritional content could vary by up to 30%. So that's not a reliable data input. So instead, we have a menu uh, where you just select the food that you're eating and use pictures, uh, a picture of a plate pop up on the app and you use pictures of chicken for example if you're eating chicken and match the portion size on your actual plate to the portion size on the app and from that we can extract a lot of meaningful information anything from vitamins to salt to protein to good carbs bad carbs over 35 data points we collect about yeah. the user so uh, we see a tremendous benefit in collecting this data, not only because there's a lot of it, but because it's such reliable data. So what we did is we created this online dashboard. So if you have a doctor, a trainer, a nutritionist, anyone else you want to be able to review and analyze your data, uh, they can do so, do so through this web-based dashboard and they can manipulate and analyze these over 35 data points. Wow. So there's literally trillions of permutations that they can look at to see how specific things are affecting each user's unique health. So with, say, a coach, for example, mm -hmm. if I hire a coach, I have your app, he has your app um, could he tell me what type of activity to do absolutely so he doesn't even need to have the app you just need to grant him permission okay. and online he can go and look at uh, it, it's not only a reporting tool that tells you how many it tells the coach how many steps you've taken or how much activity they're doing but they can actually affect different metrics such as um, how much activity you need to do to f fulfill your daily goal uh, anything from how much protein you need to eat for example if you're training wow. and you want to gain yeah. muscle mass they mm -hmm. want to increase the protein intake um, they can also send you messages directly from the dashboard to your app so there's this new line of communication that opens up as well wow. that's different yeah um, so show me what the let me let me see what it yeah. looks like so this is the wearable this okay. is the stone it can be worn in the fitness band which can be worn around the wrist or around your ankle if you prefer okay. um, it can all it pops out and can also be worn in the pocket around your neck clipped to your belt or clipped to your shirt um, this is your activity goal for the day so your goal is to try and fill up that circle of lights mm -hmm. so that's also mirrored on the app so that activity goal I haven't synced my stone to my app uh, because I've been doing demonstrations but basically uh, that activity goal matches the activity goal of lights on your stone so that's how much activity you should be doing um, this is how much activity is accumulated uh, with resistance training versus aerobic training so because I've just walked around today I haven't lifted weights it's fully aerobic training mm -hmm. but if I were to go lift weights you would see that bar start to shift uh, similarly these are your training goals so I haven't done any running or I haven't done any weightlifting today so these bar circles starting haven't haven't started to fill but mm -hmm. um, as I do those types of activity those would start to fill and this tells you how much of each type of activity you should be performing mm -hmm. So to input your food, like I mentioned, you go to the menu, if I had a piece of chicken, mm -hmm. I select the chicken from the menu, and I just use these plus minus buttons 
to match the portion size on my actual plate to the portion size on the app. Mm. As soon as I enter it, it extracts a ton of information about that, um, including how many are calorie equivalent. We don't use calories in the traditional sense, but are calorie equivalent you've eaten to start to fill that, that food allowance goal. Um, and also tells you how much of your diet should be comprised of good carbs, bad carbs, protein, and fat. Very cool. Now let me ask you something. What's the price on this? So it will be available uh, for $125. Oh, reasonable. Yeah. yeah. So uh, and that includes the app, the stone, all the wearing accessories, and that online dashboard. And how do you differentiate yourself from Misfit, iFit, um, yeah. you know, Fitbit, uh, right. all these other yeah, so there's products. two main things. The first is the data accuracy because without accurate data, everything that you're collecting doesn't mean a whole lot. You can't really do a whole lot of analysis with inaccurate data. The second thing is not only do we report the data to you, we don't just say you did 10,000 steps or you ate this number of calories, but we perform the analysis and, and do the insights for you. So um, it's, all health influencers are interconnected. The body is extremely complex and, and complicated and it's difficult to figure out. So instead of putting the onus on <coughs> excuse me, the user, to figure out how all these things are interconnected. Stone Crisis does the analysis for you and it learns each user's unique physiology in order to do that. Very, very cool. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thanks very much.